What's going on guys? So we're going to make a quick little Sunday evening, no it's not Sunday evening, Monday evening. Feels like a Sunday because it's Memorial Day. Quick little Monday evening uh, fishing trip and we're going to be using my St. Croix Legend Elite Panfish. Now this is uh, a rod that I absolutely love and I forgot how much I loved it. The last several months uh, it's kind of just been on my back burner even when I was going after panfish I was using other rods. And then this past weekend I drove up to North Florida. I didn't want to bring a lot of rods with me so I just brought one kind of multi-purpose rod and that was this and I really really enjoyed fishing. I forgot just how much I liked it. So we're going to be uh, enjoying this rod today. I have a 1 32nd ounce jig head tied on already and the soft plastic of the day at least to start out with is a uh, Euro Tackle Fat Assassin. So it's a 2 inch little soft plastic, a little bit bigger than what I normally throw for panfish but that's alright, at least I hope that's alright. Uh, pretty small body section here where the hook is and then all this kind of floppy tail action here uh, should attract a lot of fish, at least it did last time I threw this thing around. So yeah, St. Croix Legendly Panfish, Euro Tackle Fat Assassin, let's give it a shot and let's see what kind of fish we can get out of here on this Monday evening. Alrighty, so here is the little lake that we are going to be fishing. Uh, it looks pretty clear, but also very overgrown. A lot of, looks like weeds and algae uh, near the shoreline. But yeah, let's cast that out there. We'll swim it back and jig it a little bit slowly. And we'll see what we can get. There's some, oh, was that a fish? That is a fish. Oh, that was a fish. I was going to say, there's some commotion out there out on the surface. Wasn't sure if those were fish or not, but we got one to bite on the first cast. Let's see if we can land one now. Just gotta get him to bite again. There we go, fish on. Two casts later. Little mine cichlid, first fish on the bank. All right, so first fish on that Euro Tackle Fat Assassin on the St. Croix Legend Elite Panfish is a little mine cichlid. So not big by uh, mine cichlid standards, but fairly big as far as panfish go, or at least strong. I mean, this is probably slightly bigger than most bluegill that you're going to be catching out there, and this guy's hooked well. There we go. Hook out. Another look at the uh, mine cichlid, and let's get him back in there. on little largey fish number two alrighty fish number two not a panfish but a uh, panfish sized little largemouth bass so within about five minutes we got two fish on the bank so pretty good start to the day so far Fish on. Got a large, I think it's a large mouth. It's a little bit bigger, but let's get him on in here. Yeah, so as far as large mouths go, it's certainly not big, but as far as panfish go, this is pretty big. And over these grasses, that St. Corey allegedly panfish had no trouble pulling this guy over. And you could feel every little bump and head shake because it's a really, really sensitive rod. So yeah, a lot of fun to fish. That guy disappeared right away. But yeah, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can get. That's a fish. Let's see what this is. He's down in some weeds or whatnot. Is that a is that a bluegill? Yeah, all right. First uh, native panfish of the day. Nice little bluegill. 
Yeah, so I was a little worried with the uh, two inch fat assassin here that we weren't gonna get any true uh, native panfish like bluegills or red ears just because it might be a little too big. But this guy certainly didn't mind it. So nice little bluegill. Again, nice fight on the uh, ultralight. However, getting this guy through the weeds and the grasses was still no problem for it. Yeah, so if you just look at the shoreline here, we got some pretty thick weeds and grasses, a lot of algae, and then even a little bit farther out in the water, there's even some heavier weeds. And now with a lot of ultralight rods, you just can't fish this uh, effectively because the rods are gonna be a little bit too wimpy. They're not gonna be able to not only pull the lure through the grasses if you need to, but if you hook a fish, you're gonna have a really, really hard time. That's another one. Oh, that was another one, just lost it. But yeah, if you hook a fish, you're gonna have a really, really hard time getting them in through all this. But one of the good things about not only this rod, but I think a lot of St. Croix rods in general, they're a little bit stronger than what their power is rated for. So this is an ultra light, definitely fishes that way. Uh, these little guys put up a nice fight, put a nice bend in the rod, but it's still got enough backbone where you can pull them through some heavier cover. That's another one. A lot of fish over here. Look at that, right through the grasses, another large mouth. Yeah, so another nice little largemouth on the Euro Tackle Fat Assassin. There we go. Hooks it out. So I think we got a bite now on three casts in a row. And we got two of the three. So not too bad at all. That's a fish. Little guy down in the grasses. Let's get him on through the grasses. Oh man, hate when they swim down. So this rod has no problem bustling them out. It's just my four pound line <laughs> might say something different. There we go. We're working through these grasses. Mine cichlid, get him on up here. Yeah, so like I said, the rod has no problem pulling this guy through, but I'm still ultralight fishing. I still only got four pound test down there, and that test is actually probably about a year and a half old now. Got to replace that, but yeah, another nice little mine cichlid on the ultralight. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, I believe basically all the fish have come on the edge of that grass line. So I mentioned these weeds and grasses go out, I don't know what that is. Let's call it 20, 30 feet, somewhere around there. And I've been casting out past it, that was another bite, reeling in and kind of twitching the, uh, the rod tip just a little bit. And usually right when I get to the edge of the grass line, like literally right there, I was about maybe two feet past the grass line when I got that hit. So right on the edge of the grass line seems to be where I'm getting most of my hits, or actually all my hits. I'm sure there's a lot of fish kind of hanging out within the weeds and the grasses. And then when there's something on the edge there, they'll just come out of there and ambush it. Fish on. That's another nice one. I know I'm holding my rod tip up high so you can't see the bend in it, but that's just so I can keep it up above the grasses. But yeah, we got another nice little large mouth. Yeah, so another nice little panfish sized large mouth bass. Again, hit right on the edge of these grasses here. So we're gonna let this one go, and I believe that is gonna do it. So let's get a release on this guy and then let's wrap it up.
guys, so that is going to do it. It was deceptively, deceptively hot out here today. It's evening set time, so the temperature's not even that hot. The sun is behind the clouds, but just really muddy and muggy and humid, so uh, kind of rough one hour out here, but it was only about an hour, so all those fish uh, came within the last 60 minutes. First, let's talk about the day. It was about as average of a day as you can have, uh, not only on this lake, but in South Florida in general. A couple Mayans, a couple Dink largemouths, one bluegill, so pretty average day, pretty standard day. Uh, but then let's talk about the reason why I kind of fished today, which was to use my St. Croix Legend Elite Panfish Rod. Like I said, besides this past week, and I haven't used this in a couple months, and I missed it. This is an excellent rod. Uh, if you want the best American-made panfish rod you can get, I think you're going to have a hard time uh, beating this. There's probably a lot of Japanese rods, a couple that I own that are probably equal to this. I don't know if they're better or worse, but at least equal. But this is such a fun rod to fish. Uh, very light, very sensitive, but also very strong. So I was fishing uh, kind of the edges of all these grasses here for basically the entire day. Uh, no problem getting the fish through them. I did lose one jig head, that's why I, I started out with a black one, now I got a white one. But that's really just because I've got four pound test on here and an old four pound test, I gotta replace that. But the rod was absolutely uh, perfect. And it is pretty strong, but the tip is still soft. No problem jigging, it's a good jigging rod. I just have no real complaints about it, and it is a fun rod to fish. So if you're looking for the best of the best, I don't think you can beat this. And actually recently I've been thinking about selling, I own the, uh, the two basic uh, St. Croix Panther series rods, uh, one in ultralight and one in light, and I've been thinking about selling both of those and buying one more of these. Uh, this is the six foot ultralight fast. I've been thinking about selling those and buying the uh, Legend Elite Panfish in six foot four uh, light power fast action. I think that would be another uh, pretty nice rod and just another upgrade because I forgot how fun this rod is to fish. So yeah, if you're looking for the best of the best, uh, check out the St. Croix Legend Elite Panfish. But yeah, hope you guys like this one and I will see you next time.